freedom. It means different things to different people. But to the man who lived on this road, Josiah Henson, it represented a new beginning with new possibilities. Once he had set down roots here in Canada, after enduring unimaginable cruelties on the plantations in Maryland and Kentucky, Josiah Henson devoted the second chapter of his life to abolitionist pursuits, education, and building up Ontario's black community. Much of that activity centered right here on Freedom Road. This is where Josiah Henson owned 100 acres of land in this direction, and down the road in the opposite direction is where the school stood that he co-founded in 1841. Freedom Road. It has a nice ring to it and connects so closely to Josiah Henson and a promise he made back in 1830. You see, Josiah Henson arrived in Buffalo, New York in October of that year with his young family, his wife Charlotte, and their four small children. Tired and exhausted from their six-week journey out of slavery in Kentucky, their freedom lay just across the Niagara River in Fort Erie, Upper Canada. But the only means of crossing this waterway was by schooner. And in order to board the boat, you needed money, something Josiah didn't have. So in exchange for his fare being paid by the ship's captain, Josiah made a promise that he lived up to until his dying day. I'll use my freedom well, he said. Prophetic words from someone who would go on to achieve remarkable success as a free man here in Canada. A husband, father, preacher, author, community leader, underground railroad conductor, and the co-founder of a school for refugees from slavery. Yet, throughout his adult life, Josiah Henson would be referred to as Uncle Tom, a reference to the central character in Harriet Beecher Stowe's anti-slavery novel, Uncle Tom's Cabin. And while Uncle Tom in the novel was portrayed as a strong religious man with unflinching faith, the Uncle Tom created by minstrel shows following the publication of Stowe's novel has left us with a severely distorted and offensive caricature. It's a name that was co-opted by those in the slave-holding states who used it in these Tom Show plays to portray black men as happily submissive field hands, eager to serve. The way Uncle Tom is used is harmful, especially today. It's insulting, and it's disparaging to people of African descent. We can do better than that in honoring Josiah Henson's legacy. Because when you think about it, Josiah Henson had traveled the Underground Railroad, bravely risking his freedom to deliver over 100 enslaved people to freedom long before the publication of the novel Uncle Tom's Cabin. Josiah Henson had published his memoirs, secretly passed around abolitionist circles, and putting Canada on the map as a safe refuge for freedom seekers years before the character of Tom came out in print. And the British American Institute of Science and Industry, a lofty title of a school for refugees from slavery with lofty goals, co-founded by Josiah Henson, it had been in operation for nearly 10 years before Harriet Beecher Stowe had put pen to paper in the development of her novel. Josiah Henson, he was a remarkable individual with an impressive resume of accomplishments. And while Uncle Tom may have lived on the pages of the novel Uncle Tom's Cabin, he didn't live on this road. Josiah Henson did. And that's why we've renamed the museum and now invite you to visit us at the Josiah Henson Museum of African Canadian History. You'll find us right here at 29251 Freedom Road in Dresden. I hope you'll join us as we begin a new chapter in reclaiming Josiah Henson.